We're gonna do a range test on the bike path, check it out, tell you if I think it's worth the $2,700 price tag. Bike prices are changing rapidly, so don't hold me to that one. It's a one size fits all. It's got a huge steer tube you can adjust here, an immense amount of seat posts to play around with. It's got a super powerful hub drive motor and a massive battery. It is the cleanest feeling hub drive motor I've ever felt. But the power comes on this one very smoothly. I like the handlebar setup because it's kind of mountain bikey, so I feel right at home. It's got some nice grippy grips, pretty wide handlebar. My riding position, as you can see, is very comfortable. If you're gonna haul crap around town, you wanna be comfortable. This bike is very comfortable and upright. Very maneuverable tires, 20 inches wide, kind of the standard cargo bike tires. Um, my, the new thing I like to do is I like to ride bikes completely blind without looking at spec charts and just go off gut feeling. Later in the video, I'll go into some techie details, but for now, this bike is pretty good. I'm extremely impressed by the motor it's super powerful, has amazing acceleration. Obviously it's a cargo bike designed to have a ton of weight on it, but check out how fast this thing accelerates in the highest setting. So just in case you're one of those riders who likes to stand up out of the pedals, the Globe Hall is a really outstanding bike to pedal out, to pedal standing up. A lot of these e-bikes are just not conducive of it. You know, to each their own. If you pedal standing up, that's great. If you don't, that's great too. So one more time, let's check out that acceleration. We're at, this is called a 60 roll. When you're racing a car, you're rolling at 60 and you floor it. So more important, than the powerful motor that Specialized equipped this bike with, they put monster brakes on it. E-bikes should be required to have big brakes on it. One of the most annoying things I see besides weed whackers is small brakes on powerful e-bikes. This bike's got a like 220 mil rotor in the front, 200 mil rotor in the back, a lot of stopping power, big nice long levers so you can use one finger or two. We're gonna do a brake check up here. I'm gonna test the brakes. Super powerful brakes. I was lifting the rear end up and this bike weighs like 80 pounds. Very impressive from Specialized. He thought I was real crashing into him. I was just practice. <laughs> so this is probably the best generic, I mean, sorry, this is probably the best e-bike I've been on just because it's got monster four piston brakes. Most e-bikes come with single piston brakes. That's one, think of one dish on each side. So two pistons, this one's got four pistons so four times the power. The brakes are Tektro, so they modulate. Modulates when the power gently comes on so you don't crash or go over the handlebars. Eww. So the Specialized Globe, it's kind of an industrial bike. It's got no suspension, but it's got quite a bit of ground clearance. I'm not worried about my pedals smashing the ground. And the bike's an absolute tank, so as long as your body can take it, this bike can go off-road pretty good. It's got those big 20-inch tires that do provide some cushioning when you're pedaling it off-road. Okay. This bike has so much torque, you can't see how much wind is coming, but it's probably 10, 15 miles an hour. Having a powerful motor 
really, really helps you in the wind. It's like the wind's not even there besides my ears freezing. So you always want to have more power in my opinion. Like, would you want a car with less power so you are merging on the freeway scared or would you have to have reserve power? So I really didn't think I was going to enjoy the Specialized Globe. I didn't think anything of it. I've ridden a couple bikes with 20 inch tires. Check those videos out. This bike is in a league of its own. Powerful, well put together. Fit and finish is great. Perfect battery size, solid brakes. If I was to compare this bike to something like the Rad Runner Plus, the motor delivery is substantially better. It's more powerful. It's got better brakes. It's got a better riding position. It's got more options you can do to the bike. Oh, I wish it had some suspension. It's a little bit bad off-road. They overbuilt the crap out of this bike. It's really a good bike. Let me tell you a benefit of overbuilding something. It's not gonna be outdated in five years. This bike's gonna go the distance. That's why I call this bike the Toyota 4Runner. Body over frame, full on truck of a bike. Man, you are gonna get a lot of value out of this bike for years to come. I love heavy duty equipment because it lasts super long too. The Specialized Globe has no torque listed for the motor because Specialized is keeping this secret. That is the best rear hub drive motor you can get on the market. It says it's 1000 watts. I've ridden 1000 watt electric bikes and they're super powerful. I'm guessing this bike's about 200 Newton meters of torque. The bike can carry 420 pounds, including the rider, which is a huge cargo load. Everything on the Specialized Globe is heavy duty from this kickstand all the way to the wheels and the spokes. It's got 36 spoke wheels, which is a ton of spokes. Most bikes have like 28 spokes. So that tells you how overbuilt and powerful this bike is. A lot of bikes have endless accessories, but they're not gonna have the quality of Specialized. They're like Toyota. They got really high standards and really good fit and finish. My dad was on this ride with me and he also really enjoyed this bike. It's not just for hauling Amazon packages. This is a really, really cool bike. I got about 28 miles. The battery lasted longer than me, so I can't give you a definitive range number. We'll just say it's got excellent range. I actually have a bike rack that will carry this bike. This is the DK2. It's rated to 72 pounds. So if you remove the battery from your specialized globe haul, you can carry this bike with a frame cross member. And this rack's only like $300. We also got some new racks coming from DK2, so stay tuned for those.